please welcome Andre Ricks. Man, Cap City, I can tell you guys are happy, man. You guys are clapping and cheering like Trump got impeached this morning. <laughs> Which is all right, be happy. Be happy in here. Find your happiness outside, too, because we all know it's hard for everybody. You know what I mean? Women out here getting me too Dudes are out here getting us as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Kids are out here getting Simon Says off the playground, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's tough out here. Find your happiness, that's all I'm saying. Find your happiness. I don't even have to look for my happiness today. Because before this, my sister had a baby boy. And I just became my uncle today. I don't know. I, I don't know why you're clapping, he's 15 years old. You know? <laughs> I just decided today was a good day to start talking to him, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I never talk to him, I never. I never talk, what are we talking about? Puberty and pimples, I, I've been through that, you know what I mean? I, there's no need, no need for that. No, my nephew's cool, my mom is cool too, really supportive lady. When I told her I was gonna be a stand-up comedian, she was like, hey, go for your dreams. When I told her I was selling weed, she was like, you need to get your life together. <laughs> but before you do, let me get a half ounce. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let me get a half player price. Let me get the player price, though. <laughs> Tell you about me, I like to travel. I like to get out. I like to see things. Just took a trip to Stockholm, Sweden, you guys. I went from Ludacris to Ludafisk. <laughs> and uh, before I went to Stockholm, I thought REI would be the whitest place I'd ever go. <laughs> Turns out, compared to Sweden, REI is a Nigerian thrift shop. It is, it's super, super white in Sweden, you guys, super white. It's so white in Sweden, the animals don't even have rhythm. You know what I mean? Like the, the birds are just in the sky, just flapping around all higgledy piggledy, you know what I'm saying? The fish are in the pond, they don't even, they don't have enough like one, two, they can't even. Super sad, it's super white and sweet. You, you guys might know this. Back in the day, it used to be a thing. People used to go to Hawaii. They used to fly to Hawaii. When they landed, somebody would be there to give them that flower necklace, right? You get laid, that's a poor man's lay. They don't do that in Sweden. In Sweden, when you land, they just give you some sunscreen and a portion of green bean casserole. <laughs> call it a day. Just call it a day. I looked at the stewardess like, I can't use either one of these right now, you know what I mean? Like, I'm black and I have taste buds, like. <laughs> like, you really, you really missed the mark on my demographic, you know what I mean? And if, you, if you're brown or you just don't know what green bean casserole is, it's a vegetable and a vegetable cream sauce. You know what I mean? Like, to me, that's like going to a restaurant and ordering toast. And then being like, you know what will go good on this toast? A wet biscuit. Like, why not? <laughs> Like, I just don't, I don't care about anything anymore. I don't pick up my dog's crap, I don't recycle, and I eat toast with wet biscuit. That's what I do now. <laughs> and if, if you're in here right now, if anybody here waited tables? Yeah. Take care of the wait staff, man. It's a, it's a tough job. If you've never waited tables, then you just don't know. Like, you just don't know how hard it is to not put 32 hits of acid. <laughs> in Little Timmy's 12th Shirley Temple. You know what I mean? Like, it's really hard. The honey mustard's not that important, sir. That's all I'm saying. It's a hard job, it's a hard... These are basically like Buddhist monks walking around you. It takes so much discipline and resolve. So take care of the wait staff, y'all. Tell you... All right, yeah, give it up for the wait staff. Tell you a little bit more about me. Uh, I took a trip to Puerto Rico and I got hit on by a gay guy. And uh, I'm not mad that he took his shot, you know what I mean? I'm more mad that I almost ran away with this guy. <laughs> like he was really smooth, you know what I mean? Like super smooth. Like he walked up to me and gave me the most sincere compliments, like in words. It was like complete opposite of those my pleasure drones at Chick fil A, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And when he said what he said, I, f I felt something right here. In my heart, I f you know what I mean? I was like, my heart was saying, this is the one. This is, this is the one. But my booty hole though? 
My booty hole was like, nigga, you better not. <laughs> nigga, you better not. Let him violate us like that. <laughs> so I didn't do it, I didn't do it. <laughs> Fellas, let me ask you a question. You ever got so drunk with your gay friend that you tried to suck his dick? <laughs> and he let you? <laughs> because he's gay? <laughs> I haven't either, I've never done that either. <laughs> I was just trying to see if anybody would out themselves right now. <laughs> But that happened to me in the reverse though. The, my roommate, he made the offer to me. And I had to turn him down. I was a little drunk, I thought about it too long, but I turned him down. <laughs> because I needed him to pay rent, you understand? <laughs> like I, I needed the money, I didn't want to get his emotions involved. <laughs> and plus I didn't want him thinking it was a good idea that he could exchange rent money for blowjobs. Like, cause that would have made two of us that thought that was a good idea. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You guys, I gotta go. My name's Andre Rich, I appreciate it.